Dave WM. Just going to do a quick demo of my CR161 in action. Uh, I have another CRT tester that I typically use when I'm um, checking CRTs, but I decided I'd try my CR161 on this 11SP22 CRT that came out of a portacolor. I've had problems with this particular CRT in the past, the green gun being very weak. You probably saw in an earlier video that if you follow me very much. But anyway, I wanted to try out this CRT tester on it, specifically because I want to try its rejuvenate function. My CR70 was not successful in getting a good rejuvenation. This one seems to be doing a lot better for some reason, but I figured I'd demo it first of all. I'll just show you. This is after the rejuve has taken place. I did it a couple of days ago. The tube's been off for several days. So we're going to see how quickly it comes up. Check for shorts. Gun balance. Now, it is the gun balance is pretty low. I mean, you're supposed to be able to get to this first mark right here. You see, I do have some needle movement. That's the red gun. Green gun. It's got some movement. Not a lot, but just, it does get there. Blue gun. So, then we go to mission check. Boom. Green. Blue. And we'll do, we do the life test on it. Right here. Ready, set, go with the life. Whoops, wait a minute. Ready, set, go with the life test. Holding the switch, which reduces the filament voltage a little bit. Alright, no, no real change there. Let's go to the green gun with the life test. Ready, set, go. Now this is the one I, I hit the redo button on. Seems to be holding up pretty darn well. And the blue gun. So in other words, this the CRT is actually testing pretty good now. This is after several days of it not being in use. So will this uh, will this hold? I don't know. I have a buddy of mine who needs one of these CRTs, so I'm gonna get this to him as soon as I can next time I have to be in his neck of the woods. But it's nice to know that it looks like this uh, rejuvenator sync function on this works now. The way I know the ju rejuvenator function seems to work pretty well is I went over here to this test jig, which you remember my test jig, and those have all the lights on all that. And I, what I had been using one of these, which is a uh, booster transformer, and I said, well, let's try this rejuvenator out on the test jig. I might as well turn it off over here. While I'm thinking, and. So, this is the newly rejuvenated CRT. Let's see what's going on here. And as you can see, I mean, this is in a well-lit garage, and it's coming coming out pretty, pretty strong. It's got pretty decent, uh, a pretty decently bright picture considering the brightness of the room. So, again, you know, I can't really complain. All the colors are demodulating properly. It's really blurry, but uh, the focus is definitely working on this thing. And I don't know how much of that blur is due to the dirty, uber dirty uh, safety glass screen, and then the the bonded surface is pretty dirty too. But this is uh, this one was rejuvenated. Uses the same machine, and again, this CRT hasn't been used in you know some time after that at least a at least a week and it seems uh it seems like it's holding pretty well so i have pretty high hopes that maybe that rejuvenation function that cr161 is not half bad uh considering how much we use these tvs um if, if you don't use it a lot hopefully that may last the lifetime of the uh the set since we don't use these things uh, as babysitters like they might have been done back in the day Anyway, that's all for now. I just wanted to uh, do another quick demo on the rejuvenation function of a CR161. Demo demonstrate on my test jig, RCA color test jig, and a 
11 SP. I can't see where that number is written down there. Oh, it's over here. Hopefully you'll see it written all tied. Maybe you can see it there. I don't know. Any more later. Oh, one more or less little little tidbit I worked on. Well, I worked on my air compressor. I'll do a video on that later. It needed some new uh, work done to it, but it's too dark over here in the corner, so I'll talk about it later.